Hi, Dallas here, just chilling with you. You know, if you ask anybody around here at MTV, who are some of the hardest working people here? You know what they'd say? They'd say the MTV interns, of course. So we wanted to show our thanks and give our MTV interns the ultimate makeover. So now it's time for Giacomo to work his magic on Tom, Louise, Amy, and Allison. Tanya, how are you? Hey. Mm, good to see you. You okay? Yeah, very good. How are you guys doing? Today. All right, I'm Giacomo. So you guys gonna come in and uh, we're gonna do a little work on you today, right? He'll take care of you. He's the eh? best. Yeah. Best, best. She says that. Uh, come on in, everybody. Okay. Start. Welcome to the palace. Bring your shopping. Amy, Amy, Amy. So, had long hair for a long time, right? Yes, I have. Uh, you're looking for a nice change, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, something definitely interesting. And it's time to get like a, a style going with your hair. Something a little cooler, something you got a nice vibe to. Something the boys will like, just still, you know, really easy to take care of, a little cooler. But it's time for change. It's time to get you into a cool place. You know, modern, fun. Interesting. 90s. Right? I like it. I'm trying to create a, an image that's going to make you look a little sexier. It's gonna work for your face shape. It's cool to have a few shorter pieces. It actually creates a, a dimension in there so you don't feel like you're shallow in here. Yeah. Opens you up a little bit more. People get to see that, you know, you really have a beautiful face instead of lost behind that line. Bangs. Bangs should be something that just add a little accent to you. I like Funky bangs, I like PC bangs, I like soft fence bangs. But I think either women should have cool hair, wild hair, or sexy hair. Boring hair is very boring. Remember your lip line, I want to increase your mouth size. So I want to put hair that's going to enhance the line of your lips. Makes your smile look better, makes your eyes look bigger. Okay? All right. So we'll have a little fun later on, too. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're very welcome. You totally have a great time with that. I love it. We're going to take you into a cool style. Um, kind of like a long, I don't know, funky shag of sorts. You're really strong jawline, strong features. You want to soften things up. So, you know, not necessarily bang, but just something that moves across the top of your forehead is really nice on you. When you're dry cutting the hair, sometimes you can see kind of a better finishing shape. It gives you like a, a nice smooth run through without actually cutting the hair and you know having to actually put too much of a layer in if you don't want to because it can come out a little thinner looking. It looks a thousand times better. It's a much better look on you. Now is the time we've all been waiting for. Ladies and gentlemen, may I introduce the new and improved MTV interns. Oh my goodness. Uh, see what a difference the hair and makeup makes and the hair color and uh, I mean these clothes look completely different on you than they did when we were trying them on in the store earlier today. Yeah. Good morning. 
I love your new look. Thank you. You look completely different, but you still look like yourself. So different. You got the whole new haircut going, working. You get some eyeliner on you. It goes perfect with your outfit. She just pegged you completely. I'm sick and tired of looking like my twin. Please welcome hairstylist to the stars, Giacomo Forbes, ladies and gentlemen, Giacomo Forbes, who has shared the locks of such famous women as Marisa Tomei, Sarah Jessica Parker, and Emma Thompson. And also, please welcome New York stylist, Gillian Rogers, to the show. Gillian. Now, how did all the makeovers go? Giacomo, Gillian. Say that one more time. How did they go? Oh, they went great. So dynamic. Everybody was really excited. Really? It's nice to it see, hard like... to choose anything to put on them. Everything worked so well. They were so easy to work with. They just loved everything. Yeah, now, Jack really Mo, fir uh, the first twin you, you, we're going to introduce is Regina. Regina. Now, your Gina is here. Regina is coming out. Now, what, before we meet her, was that the, the, the biggest challenge? Because I know you've had it, very close shaved hair to the head. It was. Um, I actually used hair pieces on her and extensions. So really? So it was kind of a unique challenge. Sounds exciting. To make her a little bit more glamorous. It was nice. Okay. It was the most fun. All right. Which you will see soon. Okay. We're going to see in a minute. Now, each one of these women, uh, we must repeat for those who have just joined us, have asked us to change their look because they want to completely separate themselves from their twin. We know she loves you, but you know how it is. Okay. You, okay. Cause the problem is, you know, if you really like this look, you can't have it because she doesn't want you to look and stuff. Okay. All righty. So let's see the new Regina, ladies and gentlemen. Now, Giacomo, what did you stay standing, Giacomo, but using Eugenia as the old Regina, what did you do? Well, you know, I think it was just something they needed to do. She likes to be, a, I, I would think, a show piece. Yeah. So I made a little start. She's glamorous. She's got more hair now. She, her style is great. No, okay, you ready? This is the new look, so she's very differentiated from you. Come on out. Wow. Well, we got to we got to talk to Giacomo here and, and, and Jillian. What have you done here? Now, please stay standing. We want to get a, a shot. Let me hold that cut. What have you done, Giacomo? He came to me with the normal problem that most blondes do: damaged, thrashed hair. Um, I toned it down with a vegetable dye, make it a little bit thrashed, more thrashed, damaged hair. Damaged what hair. have you been doing with your life? The typical, the <laughs> typical thing. Right. And so we you, changed her to a richer, more brunette with some reddish tones in it to bring out some of her. I mean, she told me her eyes were brown, her eyes are green. <sighs> lights just went out because a hairdresser came in and sat down. The lights just went down, man. Yes, my darling, angel waffles. I myself am so terrified and frightened of hairdressers that once... When I lost half my hair in a stove explosion, I grew a shoulder-length page boy in the 45 minutes it took to drive to the salon. What do you think? Yes, honey, hairdressers are horrifying. And we have two of them on today. But uh, they're the, also the ministers of our souls, the therapists of our minds, and the artists of our look. Well, this guy's famous. You all know this guy. This is Giacomo Forbes. He is cool. You see him on MTV. He's like one of the coolest hairdressers in all of New York City. Oils, to oh. me, are primary for any type of curly, frizzy hair, which can be Caucasian or uh, Afro-American. Um, all natural oils, sweet almond oil is amazing. Olive oil is pretty good. Avocado oil is spectacular. Here's the fabulous Giacomo. And this is the beautiful Dana, right? Dana, yeah. What are you going to do, Giacomo? Well, I, I kind of wanted to show people that new styles and updos that were coming in and, and ways to actually make them look different or indifferent. Before you cut your hair off, you're better off getting your hair 
you know, changing it with an updo or trying some fun new looks, especially now right. in the fall, we got some great right. new dudes right. coming up, which are great. Um, pomades are great. What They're, do you mean this fall? Can't we, isn't the thing it's not well, the fall? fall is now, from now till, right. you know, Christmas. So. Hair definitely has fashion trends. Definitely has fashion trends. And hair is coming back in again. I mean, we've seen sleek, greasy hair for the right. last four years now, right? Yeah. Straight, right. nothing. Right. Now you're seeing big dudes, curly. I mean, big dudes. Big dudes are coming back in hot and heavy. I've been doing editorial You mean up now. on the top of the head and big? Big, big 60, you know. Big 60, yeah. say Renata, babe. And you're going to be right Did in you there. Hear that, I know. Renata? You. Big 60. Renata won't be able to get through the door. Her hair Use, is going to be so big, man. So good. Right. <laughs> Use the right brushes. Find brushes that work for your hair. Teasing brushes are better than combs. Don't okay. use the old methods of combs. Pomades are cool because. You know, you just need a little bit of that shine. You can go in, you can do cool piece work with your bangs. She, you he's can, got her hair up. Yes, and it's a cute little twist. I mean, you really, it, like, it, it, all these upper, bigger, puffier things. Right. And I would normally have made it bigger for editorial, but TV's cute. Right. Use your bangs. If you need them, use them. If you don't, put them behind your ears. I mean, right. you know, you can take from elegance to soft and sexy. Right. You're going out, you're doing something cool, you know. Tell me about the sun, Jack. What does that do to your hair? Sun destroys your hair, period. Giacomo Forbes, uh, hairdresser, superb from Manhattan, is here to show us a few easy and quick ways to put your hair up. How are you today? How are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. So up is really back? Yeah, well, up is really back. Everything's yeah. back, actually. All right, now you're going to put my hair up while we do this. Yeah. We'll to show you how quick little, and easy it can be. A right. little... Like you're going out, right? Right. You're going yeah, I'm going, out, I'm going to an Oscar party, so maybe Excellent. something a little, uh, a little cash, though. A little cash. Yeah, you know, I hear that messy and sort of loose are the catchphrases. Sexy, PC, yeah. you know, anything you can pull down, you know, highlight any part of your face. Yeah. It's always great. Bangs are in, you know, fringe is in. So this is all 90s stuff? It's not just yeah. the ponytail anymore? No, it's not the ponytail, but it's ponytails, too. It's ponytails on the side. You shouldn't ponytails tease your hair. It'll down. turn on you. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so, I'm trying to tease it. When did this new Return of the Do come in? Um, it's been in since Glamour's kind of popping back in, you know. Yeah. It's just in the last you know, season, really, since the spring shows, really. We've seen a lot more up to sleek, um, sleek, cool, chunky looking things, too, which is fun. A lot of hair pieces, and a lot of you cool clips. You take a lot of time to um, make it look as messy and undone as, as possible. As undone as, and takes a little while. Yeah. Actually, it doesn't take as long as the old do, but, you know, they're fun. <laughs> They're fun, now, a lot of retro. You've been working on all our uh, all our mixed uh, Teenage America type of contestants. It's a big shot around the room. They're all... Uh, yeah, they're all, you know, I think everybody's young is into putting their hair up too and looking a little bit more interesting and glamorous. I mean, look at you in three seconds. Three seconds, look at this. I'm That's ready to done. take you out. We're going to this party together. <laughs> we're going um, to a lens. We're going. <laughs> what about Tourette? Oh, you're still beautiful. Tourette's are big, yeah. you know. Brett's are great little pieces that you can put in to accent and make things look a little bit more glamorous. There's yeah. a lot of like... As opposed Colette. to looking like a little girl. You know? Yeah, Colette makes some really great little pieces, you know, with a lot of blue rhinestones and green. Right. And it just makes it look a little sexier, a little bit more refined, a little bit more, you know, little extra things to put in your hair. So you can put your hair up and then you put a little, you know, clip in. And then everybody thinks you're on the front of Vogue or something. Oh. You know, it's cute, right? You know what that looks yeah. like, though? I forgot to take my pin curl out. Hey, that's cute, though, right? But everyone will like it. Now, there's always problems with people who have really thin hair or really thick and frizzy hair. Yeah, always. Think you can do? Uh, always. You know, use products that are right for you. Use the right things. There's a lot of shining products that have no silicone in them. Use it most natural products you can have for frizzier hair okay. and for finer hair also because it gives you volume. Did you have any problem hair here that you uh? That I had no with? problem hair. Uh, everybody had great hair. I mean, it's amazing. Does she ever wear his hair up? Uh, once in a while, just to show other people how to put theirs up, you know. Yeah. Okay. So, you know. Now, could you do anything for Gary? Or, or I, could, Gary yeah, I, could, I got a couple of hair pieces for him. I'd All right, let's go. Gary, come on hey. over here. Hey! <laughs> That's, he's got yeah. great hair. What am I going to do for this yeah. man? Yeah. This I really wish to good. stay with you. Yeah. Well, I, how can I do so? I'd be doing my own hair if I had to do it. <laughs> he looks great. No scissors. No scissors. No scissors. Looks but great. I could use a curl or something yeah. here. What you know, a little curl. Maybe we could yeah. stick in like a funny looking hair piece. It could be so a little... products are really the uh, key to making key, it all. You know, shine, using glossy things. Um, yeah. Things that make your hair look a little sleeker, a little healthier. Um, you know, things that pump up your curls, too. There's a lot of great products that, you know, pump up your curls and give you a little bit more defined looks to it. Um, hey. Slick, it, leaser, glassy. You know, Laura, send Giacomo down here. I, I think I could use a new look, too. Jim, Jim needs a new look. I, Jim, yeah, I'm not He better bring some hair with him, though. <laughs> All right. I got some hair for you. Yeah. Okay. in. Keep it loose and casual. Colors and, uh, in, too. And He's colors. also a client. Oh. No, thanks. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that I like this Giacomo Forbes, everybody. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Hey. Our Miss Teen America, pa Teenage America pageant yeah. stuff. Finalists look great. Thank you very they much. They look great. <laughs> because apparently that hairspray look, that John Waters beehive hairdo thing is coming back. Giacomo Forbes, hairstylist to the yeah. stars, is back with us. Yay. And so Yay. are three of our runway rangers. We have Elizabeth, Lisa, and Kathy here who's in the midst of it. Lisa told me that when she was hired as a runway ranger, uh, one of our producers said, and we'll never make you do anything silly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, too bad. Yeah. All right, so, so convince me. This is a look that's coming back? This is definitely a look that's coming back. I mean, I think women are trying to find themselves as women again. We've mm -hmm. been into flat, freaky, nothing hair. And shellacking your head does that. Shellacking yeah. your head, it becomes a woman. You become a woman like this. A man can't wear his hair like this. It's big, <laughs> it's teased, it's beautiful, it's sexy. You it's haven't seen any Elvis impersonations. <laughs> I've right? seen a few of them, never so. But it's, it's a nice style. It presents clothes well, it presents a style well. Um, okay, you know, now while he's selling it, Elizabeth, how does yeah. it feel? It feels great. Does it really? Yeah. It feels fine. Okay, would you, would you go out looking like that? Of course. Where'd you want right. to go I after this? I need a date, that's all. Did you want to go to Tiffany's or something? <laughs> little... All right, yeah. Breakfast at Tiffany's. Breakfast at Tiffany's. Now, what's required to get uh, that look? Required is really getting your hair into the right kind of style by blow drying it out straight. Flat bangs are in, sweat bangs is kind of the pre-style of that. So you mm -hmm. go back about two inches from the scalp or sure. an inch back. Teasing, listen ladies, don't use the old style rat combs. It breaks your hair. It doesn't really work. It's not Should your hair be wet or dry? Your hair should be blown out completely dry. Okay. Uh, you're figuring you want to actually back comb the hair. A brush is better. Natural bore bristle doesn't break the hair. Uh -huh. So basically you want to just reverse all the way through the hair. Bring section to section. Now you were working on the built up bob? Built up bob. Right. Um, <laughs> who also looks pretty uh, fetching himself right Thank now. Thank you very much. That. Bob! How about this color, huh? <laughs> this color is great. Uh, uh, Thank you. Um, you know, pay attention. Look, it's like shaping your hair. It's like a sponge. You know, you want to kind mm -hmm. of create this thing. Don't feel bad about teasing your hair. It doesn't break your hair as long as you're using the right brush. Look, it stands up by itself. <laughs> like itself. Cool. Use volumizing products, things that you could just spray in that you would volumize that gives it a little bit more stick and hold better yeah. than the old age. Now, how long will uh, Lisa's hair stay like that? <laughs> Lisa, Lisa will stay like this all, all right. day. I want to get her years. up because you can't really see her hair. Yeah. But you know, you get cool shapes. Listen, it's teasing right. and twisting and mm. pinning. Um, man, 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 spend man, man, five man. minutes, look in the magazines these days, and pick your style. Say, wow, that's a cool thing. And spend an hour trying to learn how to do it. Then you right. got it for a couple weeks, and you're going to enjoy it. Okay, well, great. And as you continue okay. working on Kathy, we'll check back periodically in the uh, about 13, 14 minutes we have left. <laughs> Excellent. And remember, it's a hairstyle that's not only uh, currently in vogue, but can survive a direct nuclear attack. <laughs> uh, Giacomo Barr, thank, thank you, you so much for the hairstylist. Hey, to the stars. Big hair is a look that's here to stay, and it's one that New York stylist Giacomo Forbes is cashing in on. Women all seem to want to have more hair, so he's making hair pieces and marketing them to the masses. Giacomo Forbes has his own salon now. Just recently opened, he still makes time to assist at the fashion shows in New York, but he's devoting most of his energy to running his salon and marketing the hair pieces and wigs he's designed from real human hair. These are hair pieces, fillers to add length, volume for ponytails. You know, most girls don't have perfect hair or great long hair, so we get to add a lot of length. This is like a lower bottom piece, designed with locked on clips. They're really simple to use, and they're quick. I mean, basically, you have to put part of your hair out, and drop part of it down, you're adding a little length. You see there's like a little bit of a difference now? You can see there's natural movement in the piece. I mean, this is like your own hair. I mean, this is her hair. This is adding in another hair piece. You can see where the line just kind of disappears in there. Actually makes me want to grow my hair out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know, when you're working with the models too, you see them change. As soon as you put a hair piece on them and you're adding hair, they feel sexier, I think. Models love to steal my hair pieces. So after the show sometimes I have to chase them down to get them back. But don't get your hopes set on this idea unless you're ready to part with a little cash. Giacomo Forbes hair pieces range in price from a thousand to over six thousand US dollars. The fashion file and Tim Blanks, contributing editor of Toronto Life Fashion magazine.
as the master of illusion. Giacomo Forbes in this month's magazine is called the hairpiece master of New York. And he's fresh from his studio here in Manhattan, and he's going to show us the way that you can have the trendiest hairstyles without committing to the actual hairstyle. Thank you so much for coming by today. Nice to meet you. Right. So we're talking about hair, your hair pieces, basically. Yeah. Okay. You know, right here we're starting with some like just pin in, clip in things that can actually just be extended to ponytail uh -huh. by pulling your hair back into a knot, being able to carry a little bit more of a glamorous look. Like the season right now, I think everything's kind of working into being a little bit more glamorized, I think, the, I think everybody wants to know is how do they get put in and are they comfortable and are they so secure? Are they comfortable? For sure. Most of them are clip-in designs. They're very easy. They're simple, um, quick, you know, maybe five, ten minutes extra in the morning besides doing your own work. Uh -huh. You know, I'm going to show you a few down the way, but most of the um, you know, design is like a locking clip that actually holds. These are actually pin-ins. Mm -hmm. um, and this is one actually that's a great little highlighted piece. That oh, you can actually just clip you don't have to out. Make a right? You just stick it in your hair. Clip out, clip in, takes two seconds. Is you know, it comfortable? Yeah. Comfortable, easy to work. Forget you have them in? Yeah. Okay, I, I do not mic them. <laughs> I'm trying to like throw <laughs> my mic at you here. Speak into my chest. Speak into my chest. <laughs> well, here, yeah. And here we have Julia, and he's got just a clip and bang, which is great because she's got her hair, which is a nice one length bob. Yeah. But she can have a bang effect by. Can you clip them out, Julia? Yeah, what do you do, Flory? I like it. it. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Lori? I like it. I like it. I like it. There you go. This one. It's pretty easy. And you can do it yourself. Pretty easy. Yeah. And John, yeah. you can do it yourself? Yeah, I can. I okay. Myself, just on and off. Clips on. They're simple. They're fun. You know, they're easy. Okay. Why do you think they're so popular in the 90s? Well, I think glam is coming back in. I think women have been into a grunge and dragging around looking pretty ugly for the last few years. Not terribly ugly, but, you know. <laughs> um, here we have a woman that's actually a brunette. Um, it has two pieces on. She has a fall, which is on top, which I'm just going to take off real quick. I like her as a blonde better. <laughs> her agency works her as a brunette. This is actually an integrated piece she has on top, which is more like highlights. It's easily blended into your own hair. It's color enhancing, so she can go from one to the other. And it works. It takes, you know, it gives a woman the option of having highlights without actually going and spending five hours in a shop. So, on the practical side, um, are these hard to, are they expensive? Are they hard to care for? Some are expensive, very yeah. easy to care for. Yeah. Medium price range to high price range. Um, quality, I do happen to be very high quality, but I do all custom work, custom design. Right, um, and they last for quite a while, I would say. Forever. 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 So, let's talk dollars. Dollars, um, something like this is actually $3,500. But this is integrated. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> integrated. Well worked. I mean, a lot of hand work is done to these pieces. Yeah. A lot of custom blending. Um, Northern Italy. Most of my hair is Northern really? Italian. Some Russian, high quality Russian. She's actually a blonde that we've taken to a brunette that has an integrated piece on. It's just custom blended with colors. I mean, her natural color is right here, if you can spot it on the camera, right. which is in the back, um, which is fun. She can, you know, be blonde and have, you know, the sense of having a nice kind of a dark look to it. That's, you know, just rich, a little sexier, a little bit more glamorous. I think that the point that, you know, you really don't have to commit to the hairstyle by cutting your own hair so you can, you, can, you don't have to get the, uh, the, the streaks or whatever it is right. that you put in. You, you don't have to the get the hair cut. And the exactly. damage and everything. Yeah. You know, I you have fine points of actually being able to blend in work and clip in little tiny pieces. I mean... You said 3500 <laughs> Are they That's getting more reasonable? Yeah. Very much. I mean, yeah. you know, pieces start from 300 you know. Which is a reasonable price range, high quality hair, northern Italian hair, yeah. European hair. And this is your specialty? Yes. This is At the, the Manhattan Club. Salon? At my studio, yeah. Giacomo Forbes. Giacomo Forbes in Manhattan. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hair pieces for the 90s, the growing trend in glamour. Thank you very much. A woman wrote in and said that many... many